This morning, the state is installing a new system to speed up inspections of commercial semis in northern Colorado. A viewer noticed the construction and asked our traffic expert Jason Luber about it. So Jason, what is it? It's actually a pretty neat, interesting system, and it was Mary Ellen from Platteville that wrote in. Platteville, by the way, is along Highway 85 south of Greeley. She writes, what's driving you crazy? Tons of construction on US 85 near Fort Vasquez. I'm curious, what are the things on the street poles, cameras, toll readers? Well, the tons of construction, Mary Ellen, is for a new way to weigh commercial vehicles rolling down Highway 85 in Wells County. The Colorado State Patrol is installing the first of its kind virtual way in motion station in Colorado. Now, when complete, this virtual fixed way in motion station will allow the troopers at the port of entry station there at Fort Vasquez to record inspection data on commercial motor vehicles at highway speeds without having the driver stop at a physical way station and hinder traffic flow. This data includes the weight of the vehicle, the vehicle registration and other safety credentials. Now the Colorado State Patrol tells me this new virtual way station will save them a ton of time by allowing troopers to check commercial motor vehicle carriers without forcing drivers to pull into a way station. The Colorado Motor Carriers Association, the trade group for truckers here in Colorado, worked with the State Patrol on this system. They tell me they don't don't want drivers running overweight because it affects the infrastructure and with this technology you can better monitor remotely the weights of trucks and keep it under control. Now the existing port of entry building in the middle of Highway 85, it has been updated to house a lot of the components for this virtual way in motion station. The Platteville station has been quiet for about the last nine years, not really operating as an active port of entry station. There's a lot more of this story right now. You can read it right now on the DenverChannel.com. You just click on Denver 7 traffic on the left side menu and then driving you crazy. Thank you, Jason.